studio. Shea Kepler and Tim Doyle here with you. And Doyle, NBA Draft Combine going on this week here in Chicago. There are currently 14 players attending the Combine that have yet to sign with an agent. So they're deciding if they're going to go back to school or if they're going to stay and participate in the NBA draft and eventually go on to the league. So I want you to tell me, should these guys go back to school or go to the draft? Let's start with Caleb Swanigan out of Purdue. What do you think? I actually think he can't go wrong. I think if he stays in, he will be a late first round pick. Problem is with this year's draft, Shay, like the first 10 picks are gone and none of the first 10 are going to be Swanigan. He goes back to school. The draft class isn't going to be as strong. He can move his stock up, improve on some of the things that the question marks are about. You know, his ability to guard the pick and roll. He showed that he could shoot it from deep, kind of expand his offensive game. If he goes, I think he's going to be a first round pick. So you go back to school, you can get hurt, but you can move up your draft stock, gamble, or you can be a late first round pick, go to a winning team, play with some veterans, and maybe go to the right situation. If, if you are a late first round pick, as Caleb Swanigan is projected to be, he should go to the draft. He's an elite defender. He can shoot the three. He can post up and shoot, but he has trouble shooting over length. That's something he can excel in at the next level and work at. I tend to agree with you. If you have a sure thing, you should always leave the bar. You should never, ever wait and think that maybe you fall into like a, a nine or ten. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you have a layup, listening to this part of the conversation. You always take the layup. This not is listening. good advice. I hate you.